Hello again, Minions. Wheezy here, and today we're going to talk all about the Ray K84, which is an AK Ray gun. How to get it in Outbreak, how to upgrade it all the way, and everything you need to know. Stick around. Alright, so as you saw in the intro, we pulled this Ray K out of a mystery box, but we're going to talk about all the ways in Outbreak that you can get this, how it compares to the Ray Gun, as well as how it compares to the Die Shockwave. Interestingly enough, in this video alone, which is taken, uh, compiled from one gameplay, uh, I actually managed to get the Ray K to drop three different times in this single game, as well as a Die Shockwave that I did pick up. So, yeah, um... <clears throat> I picked it up in uh, level 3, out of a mystery box. I was basically uh, recording a gameplay here just to kind of see how effective the mystery box was. Spoiler alert, it's really expensive. Uh, but here, uh, first I'll mention the secondary fire mode on the Ray K, uh, which is this kind of grenade launcher, if you will, but it fires an energy pool that slows down and hurts the enemies that move through it. So. Uh, especially in the higher levels, it isn't necessarily going to guarantee to kill them, but it'll cause damage as they're stuck in it, and they will move slower through it. But <clears throat> it uses uh, 10 shots, 10 ammunition uh, per shot of the slowing versus, you know, one shot per normal fire mode. Just so you're aware, that is a feature of the Ray K, which is unique from the Ray Gun. The Ray Gun has no alternate firing modes. Um, so here's the first Pack-A-Punch. Uh, Again, I, uh, unlike the Raygun, I didn't get this to drop on level 1, so it's, uh, it dropped on level 3. So you're seeing how it compares, uh, how it performs against uh, level 4 bosses now on Pack-a-Punch level 1. And you can see it takes a couple of shots for zombies. Once you get up to uh, the higher levels of Pack-a-Punch, it's much more effective at this level. But even at this first Pack-a-Punch level, it's effective enough. Uh, one thing to definitely note about the Ray K is that its projectiles move very slowly, much like the Ray Gun, so if you're shooting at a longer distance, you do have to significantly lead your targets, uh, which can make it tricky for Tempests, who tend to stay farther away from you and move around a lot. So just keep that in mind. It's um, one of the things that is a little off-putting about the Ray K. I mean, the Ray Gun, you kind of expect it because it's a single fire weapon, but for whatever reason, my brain just can't really wrap itself around how slow the velocity is on the projectiles for the Ray K. Uh, it is a good weapon, um, so we'll talk a little bit about, in general, uh, its value versus, like, the uh, Ray Gun. Here you can see I had to pop my Ring of Fire to really take this Krasny at level 4 with, again, a level 1 Pack-a-Punch. Um, and he drops the die shockwave here, which I do end up picking up. Um, <clears throat> but the per shot damage versus the ray gun here is noticeably lower. I mean, when I get this upgraded to uh, Pack-a-Punch level 3, you'll see that it starts one-hitting zombies, which is uh, good on level 4. Uh, I am not. I did not go to level 5 in this gameplay just because uh, the ray K dropped at level 3, and I was only planning on playing this this match for about an hour or so, so I, I when I when the Ray K dropped, I stretched it out a little bit to uh, to get extra upgrades and make sure I could go through the upgrade tree for it. But I still didn't want to go all the way through level five, so I do exfil after level four. So you'll see me go through the uh, objectives and the side missions here to get enough money to rank it all the way to pack punch level three, and then take it against some specials and some elites so you can see how it performs uh, at this level. But now that it's pack a punch to level two, you can see it's taking. Uh, taking down on the enemies much faster. Uh, in general, and I've mentioned this before in other videos, by the time you get to level 3 on Outbreak, you'll pretty much want to be uh, minimum on your weapons, a Pack-a-Punch level 2. Ideally, you really want to be maxed out Pack-a-Punch level 3 on at least one weapon when you get to level 3 in Outbreak. Um, this being level 4, uh, the fact that this is the Ray K is why level 2 is is performing well. Uh, that isn't going to usually be the case, but um, if this drops earlier, you know, obviously try and, and push the upgrades as fast as possible. Once you get to level 4, level 5, you really are going to need the bigger upgrade. But there you can see that uh, Megaton from the Golden Chest, I melted him in just a few shots at Pack-a-Punch level 2, uh, and he'll split into his sub-forms. Um, so again, effective at level 2, but... The, you know, once you get to level 4 and higher, you're going to definitely want everything possible packed to level 3. Here I start to get swarmed by Tempests and uh, 
I think a mangler and yeah and then the projectiles from the child form of the megaton and it's just even with the Reike, it's just not killing things fast enough to really be able to melt through this entire group of things. So I'm having to flee quite a bit and uh, pop my uh, stim shots. So, um, yeah, the, the Reike versus the, again, the, the ray gun, I still, if given the choice, and I realized, I, I found this out recently, when I had a gameplay where I was using the ray gun, uh, I took it all the way to level 7. Um, I did in that game get a ray K to drop as well, and that's when I learned that you can't pick up both at the same time, which was, unless that was a bug in my game, but I kind of played around and tested with it, and if I dropped the uh, ray gun for a different weapon, it would let me pick up the ray K and then not pick up the ray gun. If I had the ray gun in my hand, I, or even in my secondary weapon, I couldn't pick up the ray K. So the game does not appear to let you keep the ray gun and the ray K in your inventory at the same time, which is good to know. So. If you run into both, which you, I think you should take the ray gun every time. The ray K just, again, doesn't have the per shot damage. And even though it's automatic, um, which allows you more spray, at the same time, it just... Versus the one-hit power of the ray gun, I just, I just find the ray gun to be a lot more effective. Plus, the upgraded ray K has 50 rounds in the magazine. And the upgraded ray gun has 40. So... There's not a huge difference here as I get the second ray K to drop. Uh, drops from a chest. Um, yeah, the, the ammo is actually relatively close, and so the Ray K burns through it much faster than the Ray Gun. Um, so after having that second Ray K drop in the chest, I guess I'll quickly address the ways that you can get the Ray Gun. I, I realize I haven't touched on that yet. Um, as you saw, I got this one out of the mystery box. That is the most expensive way to get it. Um, but I guess that would technically be the most reliable. You could spend $100,000 on the mystery box uh, until you get one. Um, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend that if you're looking for an efficient playthrough. Uh, it will also drop from World Chests, as you, sh as you saw, uh, and World Events. I believe the third one in this gameplay that I got to drop dropped out of a uh, Dragon Relic, which is interesting because both of the ray guns I've had in Outbreak have dropped from Dragon Relics. Um, and the Ray Ks have dropped from a bunch of different stuff. but um, So it seems that the Ray K has a higher drop rate than the Ray Gun, which is another another thing that uh, implies that it's a little bit better. Um, there you can see the Die Shockwave on level 4, not quite one-hitting a Mimic. Um, and the Die Shockwave, jo die shockwave cannot be pack-a-punched, uh, unlike the Ray Gun and the Ray K. So, um, you can pair the Die Shockwave with the Ray K or the Ray Gun like this, although I wouldn't even necessarily recommend that, um, just because of how underpowered it becomes at you know these not even very high levels. Um, but so if you're if you're trying to decide between the Die Shockwave, but you can pretty much guarantee that you'll get from just completing trials, versus something like this that's got a rarer drop and it's harder to get. I mean, as you'd expect, the easier the Wonder Weapon is to get, the less effective it's going to be for you. So the Ray Gun is kind of top tier. The Ray K is right behind it. And then the Die Shockwave uh, honestly lags behind the Hauer shotgun uh, and even the Gallo shotgun as far as I'm concerned in terms of the amount of damage it can do and, and how useful it is in Outbreak. So keep that in mind as well. And another interesting thing to note about the Ray K versus like the Die Shockwave is like the Ray Gun, the Ray K does gain ammo from ammo pickups that drop off of normal enemies and out of either crystals and stuff like that. So the Ray Gun and the Ray K are both excellent weapons. If you pick them up, start using them immediately because you really you really aren't going to be at as much of a risk of running out of ammo, especially at these lower levels, so so start using them. Here now I'm Pack-a-Punch level 3. Uh, you can see I'm going out and now it's easily one hitting every zombie. So. Um, at level 4, Pack-a-Punch level 3, you can see this is kind of back to where you'd expect the, the Ray Gun to be at kind of like Pack-a-Punch level 2 on on this level. but um, And we'll see how it does on a Tempest here, which is significantly faster time to kill. Although I believe at this level, Ray Gun level 3 uh, on on world level 4 would, would probably still one hit a Tempest. I'm not entirely certain, but uh, yeah, just in general, the, the Ray Gun just feels more powerful than the Ray K. And... Uh, other than the full auto and the grenade ability with the slowing capacity, that not I not really much reason to take the Ray K over the Ray Gun. But I'd love to hear your opinions. If you guys have played with both, which do you prefer and why? If you guys prefer the Ray K, I'd love to hear your reasons why. Maybe I'm not using it as effectively as I could be. So uh, go ahead and leave comments and, and let me know if I'm just not using the Ray K the way I should be. But um, none of that's to say it's not a good weapon. Like I said, I I would 
I would think that the Ray K, it might even be the third best weapon. I, the Hauer shotgun is so powerful. It's basically right behind the Ray Gun as far as effectiveness, with especially with zombies rushing you. So, so I might even put the Ray K down at kind of like the third best weapon you can get in Outbreak, but it is by no means a slouch. As you'll see here, basically using it as a hip fire shotgun for this level four Dragon Relic, and it uh, it's doing the job just fine. Um, just cleaning up mobs, so. So yeah, that's really kind of all the information you need to know about it and, and how to get it, how to upgrade it. So again, if you guys have uh, opinions about that versus the Shockwave and the Ray Gun, I'd, I'd love to hear any of that. Um, this is going to be the Dragon Relic that drops my third Ray K of the game. Uh, as it kind of like, and then we'll go through the X-Fill, but I guess I'll spend the rest of this kind of time letting you just kind of enjoy the, the Ray K uh, gameplay, but also talk a little bit more about... Uh, outbreak in general with these weapons. So I felt like when I picked up the Ray K, it's a lot like the Ray Gun. I could have easily pushed into level 5 or higher um, just because of the power of the weapon. Now, one thing that I try to keep in mind, this may be different for you uh, for my gameplay sessions, I don't necessarily, uh, for zombies or for anything in general, want to sit down and plug three, four, or five hours <laughs> into a gameplay as that third Ray K drops for me in a single game. Um, so that's why I've done videos on like doing the three and out. Uh, this is kind of a four and out. I wasn't again planning really to go to four until that Ray K shop uh, dropped for me. Um, but when you have a Ray Gun or a Ray K, you can pretty effortlessly get through level five at least. I got a Ray Gun to drop the other day uh, and took it all the way to level seven and got ended up getting myself killed uh, solo in a uh, on the level seven retrieve quest. I literally had the ether canister by the rocket and got and got mobbed by a megaton and some, and it was actually, I got down, was able to use my self-revive, and uh, got back up and then two zombies like drive by it and, <laughs> and just slugged me in the face and, and, and killed me. But um, I would basically say from what I've seen with the Ray Gun and the Ray K at Pack-A-Punch level three, if you want to have an enjoyable experience that's still a reasonable amount of time, if you want to go through level 6 and exfil at that level, you'll get a bit of a challenge um, and still be able to have it pretty manageable. Level 7, it starts to become irritatingly difficult, and at that point you're pushing up probably closer to 3 hours of gameplay. So a level 5 or 6 with a Ray Gun or a Ray K will, will probably take you in the ballpark of 2, two, two and a half hours. You'll get some uh, Roth crystals, some f flawless crystals, refined crystals, stuff to help upgrade your gear, and, uh, and it can be a lot of fun. But it seems for me, at least with a Ray Gun or a Ray K, the sweet spot is right about level 6. Uh, before you want to exfil, unless you're really going hardcore for those higher levels. So, uh, again, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys uh, think I'm a puss? Like level six, man. I go to level 15 and 20, super easy. Um, let me know what you guys do with the ray gun, with the ray K. Let me know if you've had it. Uh, if this is useful to you and you uh, want to use it to help you upgrade your ray K, uh, leave me a like. If you just don't like ray weapons because you're just a zombie lover, I mean, you, I don't know why you watch these videos. They're all about killing zombies. So you, you know it's going to be not good for you. But I'm glad that you showed up anyway. If you're not a minion, subscribe to become one so that I can say I love you minions because I do love you minions. And I will see you in the next one.